Hello church family, it's me again, Michael. I'm here to share another devotional with you. Today we're gonna be in the book of Galatians, specifically chapter three, uh, verses one uh, through that first paragraph there. Um, but before we get started, let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this morning, evening, or afternoon, whatever time we are spending uh, our time in your word. We pray that you would bless this time and speak to us through your word and show us what you would have to mold and shape us into. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, so a little bit of background for you, just generally on the book of Galatians. It's a book written with passion. Uh, it's, of course, written to the book, uh, to, to the, uh, the Galatians, the church in Galatia. And uh, specifically, it's addressing some issues that were arriving in the early church uh, there and some of them were being like uh, today we're going to be in uh, talking about faith versus works um, they they had come into a point where they believed that uh, if someone was uncircumcised that they had to be circumcised in order to be saved um, it, it wasn't just faith that saved them they sure they could have put their faith in in Christ but then they would have to be circumcised to be saved. And so this is what uh, this portion is addressing. And um, they had gotten into a habit of undermining uh, Paul's authority and ultimately uh, Christ's authority by what they were teaching that day. Um, but we'll get into it right now. It says, oh foolish Galatians. The word there foolish uh, is an anatos, uh, which can be interpreted as mindless as well. So, O oh, mindless Galatians, who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed among you as crucified? So, he was clearly portrayed as crucified, right? He's just laying the groundwork here. This is, this only I want to learn from you. Did you not receive did you receive the spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Are you so foolish having begun in the spirit? Are you now being made perfect by the flesh? Have you suffered so many things in vain if indeed it was in vain? So he begins by um, an emphatic question here, right? He says, "This only I want to learn from you." Did you receive the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? So he's drawing a contrast to them. He, he's showing them, did you receive the Spirit by obtaining and doing every one of the laws of Moses? Or did you hear by faith? Did you hear the good news, the gospel, by faith and believe in your heart that it was true, that Jesus did come and he did die? He clearly was portrayed as crucified. Or did you work that in your own self out? And were you saved by your own works? Remember, it's very clear, which is correct here, right? It was by faith. Are you so foolish, having uh, begun in the spirit, are you now being, uh, are now you being made perfect by the flesh? So he's, he's coming at him again, like they, they were beginning to, believe, right, that they had to be circumcised to be saved. So so that's an example of saying, oh yeah, I know Jesus did sacrifice himself for my sins, but that wasn't enough. I have to do now do something. I have to take it into my own power to save myself. And the Bible is very clear about that. Jesus was very clear about that. No man comes to the Father except through me. No other way. There is nothing we can do of our own authority that can save us. And that's what he's addressing right here. Are you, and, and so, uh, have you be, suffered so many things in vain, if indeed it was in vain? So now he's drawing their, his attention to their suffering, their persecution, right? They had endured all these things. Remember, the early church went through a great deal of persecution. And so now he's addressing the fact that they believe they had to do something of their own strength to save themselves, right? The new, new believers had to do this work to be saved. And 
he's undermining that. He, he he's showing that how in vain that would be. That their faith is the only thing. The faith in Christ is what saved them, not the works of the flesh, working by their own power because their own power is the flesh. That could not save them. And in our day and age, that can be very well true of us. Oftentimes, we believe that uh, what we're doing is right, and that we have to do this in order for God to look upon us as, uh, oh, good, well done. But all He wants is our faith, our trust, and our love for Him. He is the one who works in our heart and renews us in His strength. It's not by our strength, but by His. He says this to Zechariah. He says, "Not by my power, but by." Not by your power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. And so, as we go throughout the rest of this week, let's just keep a reminder in in our hearts and in our minds that uh, we are to put our faith in the Lord, and He's the one who's in to empower us to do the work of His ministry in our lives. Thank you. Have a blessed day.